Hello, if you're joining us on the online edition of the Van Barkwood. I will say, unfortunately, uh, no, not for, unfortunately, we're having a lovely music round in person today. Unfortunately, it might not work for you necessarily. So, um, sorry about that. But uh, if you just skip round four entirely when it comes up, then you'll be fine. Add yourself, give yourself an average five points or something. You know, however you like. We'll even start on solid soon.
Don't give this side on the quiz, nonetheless. Uh, so, welcome to the Vern Bar Quiz. It's just another classic quiz. Um, 50 questions, different rounds. Do enjoy. I'll explain how they work for each one. First up is the links round. Thank you to William for the links round. Um, so, how the links round works is we're going to show you nine seemingly general knowledge questions. Uh, but all the answers of them have something in common. And the tenth question will be, what's the link? What is the thing that links those first nine answers together? So without any further ado, question number one, first question of the quiz. In what Spanish city is the Alhambra Palace slash fortress found? In which Spanish city is the Alhambra Palace or fortress found? Right, question number two. Name the noun with the following definition in the Oxford English Dictionary. A disc-shaped star system that contains the solar system and the visible stars, uh, visible stars and whose plane of maximum star density gives rise to the observed Milky Way. Name the noun with the following definition. This disc-shaped star system that contains the solar system and the visible stars and whose plane of maximum star density gives rise to the observed Milky Way. Next up, question number three. What is the name of the Atlanta, Georgia NFL team? What's the name of the Atlanta, Georgia NFL team? Right, question number four. What is, what's the name of the islands just beyond the Amalfi Coast slash Sorrento Peninsula in the Tyrrhenian Sea? Often frequented in the Tyrrhenian Sea, often frequented by the rich and famous.
Next up, Ooh. Next up question yeah. number five. What are the initials, ignore middle names, of the seventh United Nations Secretary General, a Ghanaian diplomat who died in 2019? I mean, well done if you knew the middle names. And um, what are the initials of the seventh United Nations Secretary General, a Ghanaian diplomat who died in 2018? Question uh, number six. What's the name for a bucking horse often seen in American rodeos? What's the nickname for a bucking horse often seen in American rodeos? Next up, question number seven. What's another name for a cougar that's also an athletics uh, clothing and footwear brand? What's another name for a cougar that's also an athletics clothing and footwear brand? Question number eight. Uh, what was the name of the key chief magistrate of the Roman Republic? The position was also one of significant authority in the Roman Empire and has inspired the term for the help and advice provided by the diplomatic agents of a country to the citizens when abroad. Easy for you to say. What was the name of the key chief magistrate of the Roman Republic?
Question number nine. Which country's name means mountain of lions? Which country's name means mountain of lions? And no, for the answer, you only need the first word. For the link, rather, you only need the first word. And question number 10, as always, what's the link? Question number 10, what's the link? What links those first nine answers together? And we'll go through the questions again in a moment. All right, we're just going to run through those ones again quickly. Question so, one, it was better to choose the Alhambra Palace Fortress Stone. Question two, what is this word for the definition about a disk starter system? Question number three, what is the name of the Atlanta Georgia NFL team? Question number four, what is the name of the island just beyond the Amalfi Coast? Question number five, what are the initials, ignoring middle names, of the seventh United Nations Secretary General, a Ghanaian diplomat who died in 2018? Question number six, What's the nickname for a bucking horse often seen in American rodeos? Question number seven. What's another name for a cougar that's also in athletics, clothing, and footwear brands? Question number eight. What is the name for the key chief magistrate in the Roman Republic? This was also one of its significant authority. Uh, question number nine. What, what country's name means mountain of lions? And question number ten. What's the link? What is the link? Um, that's yeah. <laughs> if they survive, to be fair to it. Oh, yeah. Right, next, one, next round. Right, next up. We have the synonyms round. They're all films. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to show you some words on the screen, and if you get a if you take a synonym of each word, you'll get the name of the film. And for each point, we would like the name of the film. So, question number one. Thanks to Nile for this round, by the way. Paste falsehood. To so take a synonym of paste, a synonym of falsehood, and you get the name of a film. That's it. Uh, 
Not the Heineken competitor, but your beloved. Carl's another one. Carl's, when Carl's Google on, cheap. Just mix it. <laughs> right, next up. Question number two. Murder invoice. Number two. Murder invoice. Question number three, Parish Rigid, Parish Rigid. So. Question number four, headliner battles, headliner battles. What is this film? Question number five, Abdomad, Abdomad, the film, and this is the film apparently. Question number six, eulogy for a fantasy, eulogy for a fantasy.
Question number seven. Amazing determination poaching. Amazing determination poaching. What bill is this? Uh, question number eight. Boundless light of the immaculate psyche. Boundless light of the immaculate psyche. What number is this? Question number nine. Vindicators convene. Vindicators convene. And question number 10, finally, skillet's maze, skillet's maze. Back to again. So, these are all synonyms, a number of films. So, question number one was Paste Falsehood. Question number two, Murder Invoice. Question number three, Perish Rigid. Question number four, Headliner Battles. Question number five, Head the Mad. Question number six, Eulogy for a Fantasy. Question number seven, Amazing Determination Coaching. Question number eight, boundless light of the immaculate psyche. Question number nine, vindicators convene. And question number 10, skillets made. Skillets made. That was our synonyms round. Right, so before we go into it, can we put on the next slide? I 
Okay. Okay. Okay, right. So a bit, bit of a complicated round this one. This is from um, our good friend Annabelle, friend of the show, who sadly is not currently in the country as she's on year abroad. And as she's in Spain, she does miss uh, the great establishment of Weatherspoons. So we're basically going to show you 10 general knowledge questions. However, we're also going to have up on the screen 10 names of items from the Spoons menu. Um, and each the answer to each question will, inc will sort of share letters with an item of, from the menu. If that makes sense. Uh, so basically, answer the question, but some of the letters in the answer will be in will be shared with one of the items of the spoon menu. And basically, it's don't worry, okay. I'll show you the first question. See what you make of it. So question number one: Which thirty, which twenty thirteen to twenty sixteen Sky TV show featured the cast of horror histories in a fancy based sitcom? So the answer to this question will share letters with one of these menu items. The menu items uh, we have today are pictures, fudge brownie, pellumi fries, panini, mushroom benedict, peas, garlic bread, beyond burger, loaded chips, and corn nuggets. So a, a string of letters is a complicated round, I, gr I grant you. Okay. So each answer will share in the same order and same next to each otherness, a string of letters with that with one of these menu items. Uh, for a little example, um, if the if the uh, if the menu item onion rings was up there, the answer the question could be, what feature is Saturn known for? And the answer would be rings, because we've got the letters of rings and onion rings shared. It's convoluted. Do your best, everyone. Right, should we go to the next one? We will tentatively go to the next one. Question number two: What was the name of the super of the supercontinent that incorporated almost all the land masses of Earth? So this, the answer to this question will share a string of letters with one of these menu items. Oh, so good. Right, question number three. Which American singer has been called the goddess of pop and appeared in the film Mamma Mia, Here We Go Again? Which American singer has been called the goddess of pop and has appeared in the film Mamma Mia, Go Again? And the answer to this will share a string of letters with one of the Spoon's menu items.
Next up, question number four. Which unisex brand of sheepskin boots originating in Australia became a worldwide trend in the mid 2000s? Which unisex brand of sheepskin boots originating in Australia became a worldwide trend in the mid 2000s? Next up, question number five. What kind of book is almost always outdated by the time it's published due to the language constantly evolving? What kind of book is almost always outdated by the time it's published due to the language constantly evolving? Question number six. According to the skeleton song, what bone is connected to the, both the thigh bone and the backbone? According to the skeleton song, which bone is connected to the thigh bone and the backbone? And just to clarify, what we want is the answer. What we want you to write down is the actual answer rather than just the Weatherspoon's food menu. The Weatherspoon's food menu is just to help you. Ah, but we're going to read question number seven. Which famously toxic chemical element has the atomic number 33? Which famously toxic chemical element has the atomic number 33? Um, and we're after the symbol, the chemical symbol, not just the general name, the chemical symbol, if that helps you out.
Question number eight. On a Cluedo board, which room is located to the right of Miss Scarlet's starting square? On a Cluedo board, what room is located to the right of Miss Scarlet's starting square? And question number nine. Which color is present on the flags of um, Guatemala, Mexico, and Belize? It's not a field color of any national flag. What color is present on the flags of Guatemala, Mexico, and Belize? It is not a field color of any national flag. Question number 10. Worldwide and as of 2021, 20, uh, what can 13.7% of people aged 15 and over not do? Worldwide and as of 2021, what can 13.7% of people aged over 15, age 15 and over not do? Can we do that let's just go through these again quickly in case you missed any. So, in, in the case of all of them, they all share strings of letters with these spoon menu items. Uh, each spoon uh, menu item appears once in the Nazi, you know. Question number one. Which uh, 2013 to 16 Sky TV show featured a cast of horrible history in a fancy based sitcom? Question two. What was the name of the supercontinent that incorporated almost all of the land map of Earth? Question number three. Which American singer has been called the goddess of pop and appeared in the Mamma Mia? The film Mummy, here we go again. Question number four Would unisex brand of chicken boots originating in Australia become a worldwide trend in the 2000s? Question number five What kind of boot book is almost always outdated by the time it's published due to the language company evolving? Question number six According to the skeleton song, what bone is connected to both the thigh bone and the backbone? 
Question number seven, which famously toxic chemical element has the, uh, we often remember after the symbol, uh, has the atomic number 33? Question number eight, on the computer board, which room is located to the right of Miss Starlet Starting Square? Question number nine, which color is present in the flags of Guatemala, Mexico, and Belize? It's not a field color of any national flag. And question number 10, worldwide, now 2021, what can 13 with 70 percent of people aged 50 and not do? Point the was pilot there, I was not processing the words, I was just reading the top. Right, I'll introduce it while the sun moves. So we're playing other So okay. Right, next up is our specialist round, and it's a biggie. So last week, the team that got the best team name chose Naughty's music, Naughty's classics, I believe it was, as their specialist round. So if you get the best team name this week, you get to pick a round for the next quiz. So it's all to play for. Um, we are going to do some jiggery poker with the music and get you uh, some sound on. So in each in each case of the first nine questions, we want the name of the song and the name of the artist and any featuring artists featured um, for each one. And you get one point for for all of it combined. No half points. Name of song, name of artist, essentially, but for each clip. Um, uh, we will be back in, in a moment. Uh, sorry, uh, home viewers, but this may not be brilliant to you. Okay, so question number one. Uh, let's hope it works. What is... This song. We'll play each one twice for now. Should you do what? Oh. Play it up. Again, we'll just play again. It's quite loud. Uh, next up, question number three. What is this song? Uh, artist and song. I swap. I was listening to this earlier, honestly. Uh, question number four. Like, it's controversial. Just about. Very satisfyingly done around. Also, I like this. That's very. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I thought you meant this song. <laughs> Very iconic of the other I, I, a couple of years ago, I went through a real Vanessa Carlton phase. And she got some good songs, to be fair. Great. Next up, question number six. I didn't really like this song. 
It's t- it's like like it's like some answer singing. I don't know how question time's gonna work. I would uh, question number seven. Uh, you better have take take a pen and paper. You, you have you have missed three rounds, so you might not not be win contending for winning. But you better have to take that. Um, then you get a maximum of twenty points, which would be fifty. Uh, there's a question right. This is your latest one. <laughs> Go ahead, yeah. Good luck. Oh, absolutely. Oh, that's his eight as well. That's cool. Uh, question number nine. Uh, and question number ten is slightly more complicated, I will say. So we're going to show you uh, <laughs> three songs. Um, the title of all of them put together, uh, w- you can can be rearranged to spell out the phrase "Weenie Gift Accelerator" plus the letters of a beloved Hasbro family game. So definitely the easiest way to do it is let get the titles of all the songs, um, put them together, get rid of the let- letters of a Weenie Gift Accelerator, and then see what's left over and get the name of uh, some random unforeseeable Hasbro family game. Take the first word. It's a this this one as well. It's also a change. If I go if I press back three times, then go back to the video. We go to him again. Do like one. And we are going to go through all those again. Play them once each time, I think. Uh, so, question reminder for each of the each of them for one point and no half points. You need the name of the song and the name of the artist. Uh, so here's question number one again. We're getting them on karaoke on Monday. How many points? <laughs> uh, question number two. Um, question number three. Oh, I, I know. I got to the I was, I heard myself quite loudly then. That's fine. Okay. Question number five. Face, face. Uh, 
We get thinking of a good team name, and if you win, you get to pick around. So, it's a huge news. I will try and get the music, the regular music, up and running, and then we will have our illustrious wipeout round. So, see you shortly. Right? Okay. Right, there we go. Now, oh, we go to the wipeout round. Now, the wipeout round is a little bit different to the other rounds. It's just 10 general knowledge questions, but if you write down an answer and it's wrong, you get zero points for the entire round. So, i.e., only write down an answer if you're pretty sure it's correct, because if you get one question wrong and you've written it down and it's not crossed out or anything, uh, then that's zero points for the entire round. So, here we go. Thank you, Brian, for this round, by the way. Uh, question. Number one, uh, which U.S. president had the shortest term in office? Which U.S. president had the shortest term in office? Question number two: How many medals did Great Britain win at the Tokyo Olympics? You can have you can have within four you have four each way four each way. So how many medals did Great Britain win at Tokyo Olympics? Within four each way. Apologies to Annabelle about the music round. I'm sure you would have got 10. If you, if, if you so desire, if anyone would like the original music round for their own interest, you're very welcome to send me a message and I can send you that round. Right, question number three. Which artist has spent the most weeks at number one on the UK chart so far in 2021? Which artist has spent the most weeks at number one on the UK chart so far in 2021?
Question number four. In 2010, roughly 10% of the revenues from which country was from royalties from its domain name? This domain name is common in streaming and television websites. In 2010, roughly 10% of the revenues of which country was from royalties from its domain name? This domain name is common in streaming and television websites. So we're after the name of a country in this one. Number five. Name one of the two male tennis players who have completed in a career Golden Slam. That means winning all four Slam titles and Olympic gold over their career. Name one of the two male tennis players who have completed this. Question number six. Which college at Durham Uni has more students? Is it Hatfield or Castle? Which college at Durham University has more students? Is it Hatfield or Castle? Question number seven. Uh, which actor won two Best Actor Oscars in the 2000s? The films from 2003 to 2008. Which actor won two Best Actor Oscars in the 2000s? The films from 2003 and 2008. Question number eight. The quagga was an animal native to South Africa before being driven to extinction in 1883. What type of animal was quagga a subspecies of? Back in the day, the glory days, when quagga was an animal native to South, America, South Africa before being driven out to extinction in 1883. What type of animal was the quagga a subspecies of? Question number nine. In 2013, God, good, John, sorry. In 2013, John Goodman and Steve Buscemi starred in what film, reprising their roles from the film's 2001 predecessor? 
Quinn has seen John Goodman and Steve Buscemi starred in what film? We're reprising their roles for those films. 2001. Uh, predecessor. Right. Number 10. Which football team has won the FA Cup the most times? Which football team has won the men's FA Cup the, the most times? And it's wrong, you will get zero points the entire round. So you're on high alert. The question number one, which US president had the shortest term in office? Question number two, how many medals did Great Britain win at the Tokyo Olympics? Question number three, which artist has spent the most weeks at number one on the UK chart so far in 20, uh, 2021? Uh, roughly 10% of the revenues of which country was from royalty from its domain name? Question number five, if one of the two male tennis players who have completed a career Golden Slam. Question number six, which college Durham Uni has more students, Hatfield or Castle? Question number seven, which actor won two best actor Oscars in the 2000s? The film was 2003, 2008. Question number eight, the quagga was an animal native to South America before being driven out to extinction in 1883. What type of animal was the quagga subspecies of? Question number nine, 2013. In 2013, John Goodman and Steve Buscemi starred in what film reprising their roles from the films? 20, uh, 2001 predecessor. And 20, no, question 10. The final question of the quiz, which football team has won the FA Cup the most times? So right, when you're happy with your answers, uh, please make sure you've got your team name clearly on the front of the paper and switch swap papers with other teams. Swap papers with other teams so we can go through the questions tomorrow. Uh, which artist has spent the most weeks at number one in 20, uh, on the UK charts in 2021? <laughs>
Galaxy. Galaxy. Next up was Falcon or Falcons. The Falcons. Then we had Capri. Capri. Maybe you got an idea of the link. Uh, then we had KA, was what we're off. It was, of course, front of the show, Kofi Annan. KA. Uh, Bronco was up next. Bronco. Uh, next up is Puma or Puma. Puma. Then we had console, console from consult, I guess. Uh, then we had Sierra, Sierra Leone, Sierra Leone. And the link was they're all Ford, they're all Ford vehicles, they're all cars by Ford. Not quite enough to just say cars, we wanted the word Ford to link there. Uh, next up, we had our synonyms round. This was, of course, Pulp Fiction, Pulp Fiction, then Kill Bill. Then, Die Hard. Then, of course, Star Wars, which I will defend as the name of a film, because originally A New Hope was called Star Wars. Uh, Head the Mad means seven, apparently. Well, then we got that, seven. Uh, next, we had Requiem for a Dream. Then, of course, Goodwill Hunting. Um, Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. Um, Avengers Assemble. Avengers Assemble, and Pan's Labyrinth. Pan's Labyrinth, I quite like that one. Uh, then we had our spoons round. Um, so you just need the main answer. Don't worry about this if you haven't got the menu bit. We just want the main answer. So this was Yonderland, connected to Beyond Burger. Yonderland. Then we had Pangea from Paninis, I guess. Then we had Share Pictures. Share, of course, got us a pop. Then, Ugg from Corn Nuggets. Ugg Boots. Uh, then we had Dictionary. The Dictionary, of course. Then we had The Hip. The Hip is connected to the thigh and the backbone. After The Hip, we had AS. We were after AS, arsenic, AS, peas. AS, arsenic, poisonous, toxic, rather. Uh, it was The Hall. It's just The Hall. The Hall, well done, we got that. Some, some groans there. Uh, next up, it was Brown. Brown from Fudge Brownie. Then it was Re Reed from Garlic Breed. Um, Reed, apparently. And then we had our Naughties around. Um, sorry if the sound messes up here. Okay. Uh, so so, we, so it's, don't worry about it. It's good. So this was, of course. Um, James Blunt, You're Beautiful from 2004. So we, you just need James Blunt and You're Beautiful. For, you need both for the point. You need James Blunt and You're Beautiful for the point. Okay, for the point, you also need Don't Say Crazy in Love. Ideally, with, do we need Jay Z? You don't need, you don't need Jay Z for the point. So if you've got Beyonce and Crazy in Love, you can have it. But bragging rights if you put Jay Z as well. Uh, then we have Daniel Pounce's Bad Day. Daniel Pounce's Bad Day. Next up was James. No. It was Bye 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 by NSYNC. Sorry, I got the answer. I put around the answer wrong. It was Bye 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 by NSYNC. NSYNC? NSYNC. Like in Dombele. NSYNC. Uh, next up, we had Vanessa Carlton, A Thousand Miles. Da -da 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 uh, then it was Maroon 5, She Will Be Loved. Maroon 5, She Will Be Loved. Next up was Girls Allowed Love Machine. Girls Allowed Love Machine. Then One Republic Apologize. One Republic Apologize. Where's the point, remember? Uh, Taylor Swift, you belong with me. And then all you needed for this point was Kaplunk. It was Kaplunk. No surprise there. The songs were brilliant. Uh, and then we had the Wi-Fi round. 
Now have bodies. We'll go through those again. Okay. So just remind you, there are there are no half points. Um, however, so you need you need both the name of the song and the artist for the point. Both of them for one point. So James Blunt, James Blunt, you're beautiful. Uh, Beyonce, crazy in love. Daniel Powell's a bad day. Jay, no. Bye 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 bye. End sync. Bye bye bye. End sync. Uh, Vanessa Carlton, a thousand miles. Maroon Five, she will be loved. Girls Aloud, Love Machine. One Republic, Apologize. Taylor Swift, You Belong With Me. And good plug. Just good plug to that point. Let me add a white back round. Reminder, if you have your marking and has got any questions wrong in this round, if they've written down a question and it's not crossed out and it's not left blank and it's wrong, then they automatically get zero points for the entire round and you need not count them. So this was, of course, friend of the show, William Henry Harrison. Not friend of the show, I think it's probably quite problematic. after. Going after 30 days, but he didn't wear a hat at his inauguration. Um, 65. So you can have anywhere from 60. You can have anywhere from 61 to 69. Anywhere from 61 to 69, you have got the point. Any other number you've wiped out. So you can have anything from from and including 61 to 69. Uh, next up, Ed Sheeran. Ed Sheeran. Narrowly, narrowly beating Olivia Rodrigo. Beating Olivia Rodrigo. Ed Sheeran. Never see wipeouts there. Uh, Tuvalu, Tuvalu, because of course it's .tv, like twitch.tv and et al. Uh, Rafael Nadal or Andre Agassi, can I have either of these for the point? Rafael Nadal and Andre Agassi. It's Castle has more, Castle has uh, around 150 more. Castle lost his. Then it was of course Sean Penn, Sean Penn. Then it, then it was the Zebra, the Zebra. Next up was Monsters University. You don't get the points for Monsters Inc. because of, of the way we word the question. So Monsters University with the point. And this is, of course, Arsenal, who won 14 times. So that's the end of the quiz. Please add up the score of the team in front of you and put it, put the number, their total score, big on the front of the paper. And then bring it up here. So make sure you've got a team name and a score on the piece of paper. Bring it up here. See you shortly.
Right, so we've got our scores in. The winner of the best team name, and therefore who gets his biggest special round for next week, goes to the delightful uh, The Synonym Buns. The Synonym Buns. Nicely done there. Would you like to... Oh, hi, hello. Uh, what would you like your special round to be? Have a little thing. Okay. And in the meantime, the recipient, the winner and recipient of the Tony Bambata is Quiz Team Aguilera. Are you here, Quiz Team Aguilera? <laughs> You've won the Tony Bambata. <laughs> so do come up to me at the end if you'd like to play the Tony Bambata, having won the quiz. Have you what's that about of you? Sorry? Did you have did you have something about? Oh right, okay. Um, Thank you for watching everyone. What a lovely time. Yes.